I thought my arms had actually grown a little longer. On the goddamn ruler, my arms are looking like, instead of being just ten and a half inches long, like they've always fucking been, they look like they're going to get uh, between ten and a half and ten and three quarters inches long. But then I go ahead and measure some arms with some girls and find, who I've measured many times before, and find that my goddamn arms are still the goddamn same. I'm still being outreached by too many goddamn girls. And fuck, I got afraid of God. Afraid to let me shine? Afraid I might be bigger than Jesus like the Beatles? Come on. I'd have mad my chance to shine. Because you're going to win out in the end. Look at the Beatles today. Jesus is still kicking strong. The Beatles ain't what they used to be. And one day they will be forgotten. I want the same goddamn thing. I want my time to shine. And God, they're like, now! And I'll pay for it in the earth. Like, God damn it! You're going to let Satan and the Antichrist have his time to shine. God damn it. What, you afraid to let me have my time to shine? I challenge you. I challenge you, God. I just... I curse you for every girl that's rejected me. That will reject me. That does reject me. If, if, uh, and now if girls reject me but have to admit I'm a good looking hot guy, that's one thing. But if they reject me because of my looks, I curse the fuck out of you, God. I want my time to shine. I demand it. I demand by my free will. And I demand to pay the price, God damn it. I'm like pissing here. Oh, well, shut the fuck up. Cunt. This here is an update to that video you just saw. This video that you just saw with me in the red shirt, that video was shot, I believe, in 2010. Maybe 2009. I think it was 2010. Here it is. Thanks to you night. 2024. A lot, has happened. A lot has happened. A lot has changed. I don't sell my soul. I mean, I was saved. I was completely saved in that jail in Pitt County Detention Center. When I finally gave to Jesus everything I had been holding back all my 30 years of Christian life. After I had asked Jesus to declare me absolutely righteous based on the sinless death. November 4th, 99, but I, I digress. My arms... In this video, I was bitching about my forearms being only ten and a half inches longer. And I thought my forearms had grown to be ten and three fourths of an inch long, and I was celebrating. Only ten and three fourths of an inch long. I believe my forearms are truly grown. I believe God is finally gonna let me have the long forearms and the judgment that comes with it. I mean, when I, have, when I stand before God, I have a grievous account to have to give to Him for allowing me to have the long forms. I believe, let's measure right here. I had to put on my glasses. Unfortunately, I had to see with glasses now, whereas in 2009, 2010, I had near perfect vision. In this video, in the previous video, I was bitching about my forearms being only ten and a half inches longer. And the ten and a half inches long. <laughs> my forearms, ten and a half inches long, if you started at my elbow. Only comes in here. My wrist is here. My elbow to wrist and my left arm. My left arm is a little tad bit longer than my right forearm. Because I had nerve damage where I used to hit my both sides of my face. And my right side of my body is now compromised. My elbow to wrist bone is now 11 inches solid. 11 inches. And I was rejoicing when I thought my forearm had grown to 10 and 3 fourths of an inch long. I'm so, oh, so happy. Not only that, when I, I find when I measured girls' arms, for the most part, I, I'm outreaching these girls. Whereas back in 2010, I was lucky and my form was 
as long as theirs, or a little bit longer, but not much longer. The only girls that my form was considerably longer than was those really short girls, five foot three girls, five foot four girls, and the occasional five foot five girl. Girls that were five seven or taller, their forms were almost, if not as long as mine. And this was a source of great distress for me. I don't want a form to be as long as theirs. I want my forms to be longer than theirs. It's not that I want their forms to be shorter than mine. I want them to have long arms. I want my forms to be longer than theirs. And my my left form is a good solid 11 inches long. My right form, when I used to measure it, it was struggling, not it was struggling trying to reach the 10 and a half part, point mark. Now, my right form is between 10 and 7 eighths of an inch long and 11 inches long. You don't know how happy it makes me that my form, I believe, has truly grown. Let me tell you what it feels like. Mm -hmm. God has truly blessed me exceedingly in my life. But not being a good looking guy, not having my head full of hair. And definitely one of my forearms are not long enough. Now I want my forearms to be 11 and a half inches long. That's my goal. To have my four between 11 and a half inches and 12 inches long. But I'm, 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 right, I'm right now I'm just I'm happy to have them as long as they are now. No longer that despicable 10 and a half inches, 10 to 3 fourths of an inch longer. No longer 10 and a half inches, 10 to 3 quarters an inch long. So disgusting, so sickening, so unhappy. But not having long forms than those long arm top notch girls. Not being a hunk, not being a hottie, not being a foxy good looking guy to these same top notch good looking girls. Not looking in my twenties. That is comparable to getting a life sentence, having to live in a South American or a Vietnamese prison as a prisoner of war will I torture you will I stick sharp bamboo sticks up your ass if you break the rules but the blessings God has given me a wonderful family when he lets me drink coffee and eat pizzas and go out and, and sing my songs and people love my songs that is comparable to a weekend furlough it is like I live in a Vietnamese prison as a prisoner of as an American prisoner of war. But every weekend I get to have a furlough. I get to go out every weekend, starting Friday morning. I get to do whatever I want to do, just as long as I, I report back to the prison by Monday morning. So I can have I do whatever I want to on the weekends because you know that that's that's what the blessings God has given to me are like. But not having but not being a good looking guy, not having my three dreams is like I will I'm living a life sentence in a Vietnamese jail prison as a prisoner of war. I guarantee you one thing. If I ever, when I reach the day where I, my forms are long to my utter satisfaction and I don't have erectile dysfunction, I'm having to take a teledephia because I can't, because I can't get a, an erection. I get this, I get the long form, and now I got ED. What a crock of shit. <laughs> At least I got long forearms, but what good is it? No, I take that back. But I want to be able to enjoy the pleasure of having the long forearms and those top-notch girls. 
But you want to get me out of this Vietnamese prison? So I, I can do it. Uh, so I, you want to get me off out of this life sentence? Get me whatever it takes. Cosmetic surgery to be a hunk, a hottie, a foxy guy. To the top notch girls, the young girls, the college girls. Get me looking so good looking that even middle age school girls hang posters of me in the lockers. Because I look so good. Get me looking good so that the college chicks, when they see me, they got to say hi to me because I look so good. Get me looking good so that why, that if I become famous, it's not being, being famous that will make the girls come up to me. It's because I look good in the first place. And now that I'm famous, they really like me because I was good looking to begin with. You give me these three things. Give me the stem cells so I can look in my 20s or the blessings of God. As long as I can maintain and keep my full bodily motor functions, I will be released from that Vietnamese prison if I can get this. But until that, uh, right now my forms are longer. There's still girls that have long forms that I do, but for the most part, whereas in 2010, 2011, only 50% of the girls I mess in arms with, mine were longer than theirs. Only 50%. The other 50% were either as long or even longer than mine, which is the source of extreme distress and unhappiness to me. Now, 80, 80 to 90% of the females I measure arms with, and this includes the 5'9", 6-foot girls, my form is longer than theirs. But occasionally, I find the girls who's shorter than I and got longer forms than I. And I still curse that. I curse that bitterly. I want to have longer forms than girls who are six foot two. Because guys, by nature, have longer legs and arms than their female counterparts. The average five foot nine guy will have longer forms than the average six foot three woman. Now I'm six feet tall. There is a such thing as too long. I do not want my forearms to be any longer than 12 inches long. 11 to 3, three fourths of an inch long. Maybe 12 inches. But I, I got, I'd get so angry at God, I'm, I'd tell him, God, struck me down with that ACH gigantism that killed Andre the Giant. I'll, I'll take that. Just let me get I live the long forms. And what this is, is I was asking God to strike me down with the a gigantism so that my arms would keep growing. And they would go, they, they would become, because they would become distorted because your epiphyseal clates are closed and uh, your arms still growing and eventually it kills you. That's okay as long as I can have my 50 minutes of fame without the ED enjoying having long forms and being a foxy good looking guy and being out of this Vietnamese prison and just as long as I can have this while still being saved not losing my salvation and enduring to the end and getting the prize of salvation at the end because you don't die a Christian you don't go to heaven you don't die in the faith you go to hell But you will not believe how much heavy I am so much happier with the law reform. So much happier. You just won't know how happy I am when I go out a town and measure arms of good looking tall girls in my arm ever the wrist is longer than theirs. You don't know how happy it makes me. I'd rather have that without the ED than the billion dollars. Now if I can just get the hair transplant to have my head full of hair and become the foxy good looking guy even if I had to get a little cosmetic surgery. Now if I could lose the weight get some, li get some lipo to maintain my good looks which I hope to get one day I want to look like a boy not a man.
And with that, my head full of hair, I look so goddamn unsexy. But that's the update on the video. Am I good looking today? Do I still look young as I did back in 2010? Because if I don't, I will let uh, I will let a loud explosive burst and yell a phrase full of swearing and cursing that the air will turn blue. <laughs>